I've been drawing and painting my whole life. In fact, as a joke, my parents sometimes tell me that they think I was born with a paintbrush in my head. And I think it was one of those things where I, I just had so many ideas and as a child I didn't know how to express them and through drawing and painting it was the only way I could actually express my ideas. Hi, I'm Adrian Obasan, I'm an artist and I, I think it's safe to say that I live and breathe through art. In most of my childhood photos or videos, you would likely see me either on the floor drawing on my little magnetic drawing board or a little sheet of paper. In fact, this is one of the, my very first magnetic drawing boards that my mom decided to keep as a keepsake because I really did take these everywhere I went. Um, I remember once in class, the bell for recess rang and all of the little kids, they decided they would take their ball, the ball or, or the jump rope to go play outside. And I remember me, I, I wanted to stay inside and doodle. And don't get me wrong, I do, I do have friends, but um, I just, I felt like I needed that hour just to get it out of my system, get those ideas on, on a piece of paper and draw a doodle. People often ask me what my inspiration is. And I know that from a very early age, I was inspired by Picasso. Um, my mom took me to a Picasso museum. And I remember falling in love with his paintings, seeing how he could be so well known and successful without very technical drawings. Because as a kid, I, I wasn't, I, I didn't draw the best. And although he does know how to draw very well, just seeing his art and his paintings, and I remember begging my mom to buy me a little replicate to have in my room, which I have a lot now. And he, he it just really made me really happy and appreciate art more. Um, I, getting older, I remember stumbling upon a Jean-Michel Basquiat painting on Pinterest and I automatically was in awe. I fell in love with his style, um, his color composition, and I remember looking him up and seeing he had a Haitian background, which really it, it resonated with me. Um, but I have to say that my main source of inspiration is Haiti, my country. Haiti is a country very rich in culture and art. I mean, everywhere you go, in the streets, covered, it's covered in art, My, our, our homes, restaurants, everywhere you go you, you see art and I guess it was just in my blood. Something I aspire to do with my art today is spread positive messages and positivity because we live in a world with so much hatred and negativity and I do believe that through art messages can be spread better than actual words. So that's really what I want to do with my art. I think it's safe to say that I've progressed and developed a lot in my artistic styles um, from when I was a kid, of course. Um, now I know how to manipulate the paintbrush better and colors, but I think that now that I'm older, I, I know more of the world and of the art world too. And so now I know how to spread messages better through art. Um, I have my painting Tolerance that I recently did and it talks about how we need to be more tolerant today in this world with so much negativity. and. It feels like we're repeating history, which should not be happening. And I'm really proud of that painting because I feel like I executed and spread that message perfectly. I'm currently entering my senior year and I'm in that threshold where I have to figure out what I want to do with my life, with my future. And although I'm not sure what I want to do, I know it's going to foster my creative and, and artistic side. Um, I'm interested in a lot of things. I like filmmaking, television, um, music, acting, diddle art, and right now I'm not sure what I want to do, but also I know that in order to be well-rounded and successful in what I do, there are some important skills that I need to apply, such as managerial, financial, entrepreneurial skills. I come from a family of business and I know those are the skills that in anything I want to do in life, I will need to apply. This is why I'm looking to apply in schools that enable me to experiment in my creative side or artistic side and then business side in order to really know what I want to do.